assalamu alaikum to all my dear students today i will teach you about adaptation this topic is taken from your book unit number 5 living organisms and their environment so what is adaptation it is the characteristic features of an organism which enables it to become suited to its environment are called adaptations Animals and plants are adapted to live in a particular natural habitat. They have to adapt themselves to suit its environment. For example, frog's tongue is adapted to become sticky for catching insects. In a similar way, fish has fins to swim in water. As you see here, the tiger, the tiger has a special teeth for chewing flesh and crushing bones these all are adaptations in animals if we talk about plants that is adaptation in plants following plants are recognized number first is desert plants as you all know desert is a dry place with a very low rainfall so they have to conserve more water So the roots of the desert plants spread out just below the surface of the ground. Their stems are thick and fleshy for storing water. These plants have a very deep root system. The example of the desert plant is cactus. Spines as you see here and here on the surface of the stem and leaves of the cacti prevent water loss. Second category is water plants. These plants are also called hydrophytes because most of the parts of a plant are under water. They have air spaces in leaves, roots and stem. They also have flexible stem so that they are not damaged by strong water currents. The example of the water plant is water lily. This is the water lily. Number 3rd category is swamp plants. These plants are also called halophytes. These plants have special roots and soil glands to help these plants to get rid of excess salts. These trees have arched roots which helps them to fix in the mud. These are the swamp plants. Finally we have rain forests these are evergreen trees they are tall and form an umbrella like canopy of leaves which shuts out the light few plants survive because forest floor is dark and damp however they make their own food and are not parasites plants which grow at the top of the trees are called epiphytes these are the rain forest now in the end what you have to do you have to match these following plants to its adaptations okay students thank you